Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. Today I wanted to talk about who should consider buying or purchasing Lenovo Chromebook to a tablet or the two-in-one device, let's say. In order to show it properly, I made a list here to talk about some points here. First point is if you're going to use it just for media consumption, like watching videos, playing games, I would not recommend this tablet or this device. You're better off with iPad or the Samsung devices and because the performance is not the same and also the and the tablet experience is not the best here. If you're going to use it for the pen reason, stylus, if you want to take notes, if you want to do drawings, this is also not a good experience. And you are better off with iPad or the Galaxy devices or just Microsoft Surface devices which I also have the Microsoft Surface here, the 3-in-1. It's the third generation with a pen, works much better than this device, I would say. But if you're just focused on this, so I don't want to say if you want occasionally use it, yeah, this is a good device, but if your main reason to purchase this device is to use it for drawings or taking notes, please don't do it. The third option is the keyboard and trackpad. As you know, it's a budget device and which comes with it. keyboard and trackpad included. It's not the best keyboard and trackpad when you compare it to the iPads one, but it gets the job done. And I'm using it. I'm also satisfied with it, how it works. It could be better. So if you're a person who wants to type all the time with the keyboard i it's a not that good experience but the, because the spacing between the keys are a little bit small and if you have large fingers or big fingers then you will have problems doing the typing but in my case it works and it's kind of bonded to the fourth topic here is a budget one and I want to say, if you're in the budget zone and you want a keyboard and trackpad, you can consider this. If you have money and you are not in budget, you can all buy iPad with a keyboard. The keyboard itself costs $350, which is the whole package of this, also with a pen, which, is, which you have to buy separately. So if you have money, go with the iPad with a keyboard. But if you're in budget and you want the keyboard and the trackpad, that's why I want to consider that as a together. If you want this, then you can consider this device. That was also the reason why I consider this device. If you want uh, the fifth topic here is the Chrome browser. If you want the full desktop version of the Chrome browser, that's also a reason that I consider this device because sometimes in the mobile version of the Android or the iOS app of the Chrome, you are limited. So you need to switch to your computer. That's why sometimes I switch to just this device so I can do my work and I don't need to go back to my computer. Camera. Some people use the tablets for the taking the pictures, but also for AR purposes, the back camera mainly. This device is terrible. The back camera is really bad, so don't even consider this. The front camera is okay, but if you're going to use this device just for Zoom meetings when you're on the go, or Skype meetings, or any type of video, interactions, I will not consider this 
because the quality is not that good and you're better off with the Microsoft Surface device. They have a really good camera, front camera. Also, it should be no for this device. So if I sum up the pros of this device, it's a budget device with overall good experience. That's the main reason that I purchased this is that it has full HD resolution. It has 128 gigabytes, the version I bought. I will recommend that from 64 gigabyte to 120 gigabyte, you pay less than $50. And it's also the keyboard and cover is also included. And it has a really decent battery life. The thing that I don't like is the performance EMMC storage that is also connected to the performance of this device. This processor is the MediaTek P60, which is a below mid-range processor, I would say. It's similar to Snapdragon 660 and it has 4 GB of memory, which is also not enough because the Chrome OS itself takes almost 2 GB of this memory. So, if I want to wrap up this video, I will say if you are in budget, if you want something with a keyboard and trackpad, if you want the full Chrome browser or the desktop version of the Chrome browser, you should consider this device. That was also the reason that I purchased this device because I didn't want to pay more than 1000 euro for the iPad Pro with the keyboard and the trackpad. Thanks for listening and hope to see you guys in the next video.